Well, I'm so excited to be sitting here with Donna Cush. She is the president and CEO of the Omaha Community Foundation. A new role, Donna. Um, congratulations, but thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you for having me, Andy. Thank you. So the big thing that's coming up in May, um, is this the seventh year or the sixth year? This will be, I think, actually the eighth year. Oh, the eighth year. You know what? Yeah. I've been so involved with this, but, and we're talking about Omaha Gives. I've been, you know, Metro Magazine has been so involved with Omaha Gives from the beginning that it, sometimes you just lose track of, of the years. But we're here uh -huh. to talk about Omaha Gives um, and how the Omaha Community Foundation, um, you know, really, and Omaha Gives is responding to the COVID-19 um, situation. So let's dive in and talk about that. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for asking about that, Andy. We started a response fund on March 13th. So very soon into this whole pandemic, um, we responded for the community to, to start the COVID-19 response fund to be able to hope it, to be able to put into act very quickly some funds for the community. So we've raised about a million dollars in that fund thus far. And we've actually dispersed about half of those and we'll disperse some more next week. And um, we really are looking at it kind of in three phases. So this first tranche of money really went towards those, you know, very urgent emergency kind of needs. Sure. So food stability, um, food security, housing stability, uh, other emergency response type of needs. Hey, sorry. Come here, Stel. <laughs> And there's your dog and then there's my cat. This is this is the beautiful thing of what's going on is that we're we are working um out of our homes and and rather being in the studio we're we're recording um via zoom at home but um god love our animals because they keep us sane <laughs> so yeah and let's what is going to be different about omaha gives this year because it, again it's such a huge thing in the community and so many people get involved so what's going to be different about this year this year we have a couple new things uh we are taking advantage of the vir it, it's normally a virtual event anyway so, so yep. that's helpful um it, it's not like we already have that infrastructure in place to hold this as a virtual event but we think that now our nonprofit partners that participate in it are also going to do more virtual events than they might normally do uh, or more events period than they would normally do and those would all be virtual events so for example we have um, the Omaha Area Youth Orchestra is going to be having some of their kids do videos and then um, they're going to be sending those out via email uh, the Nature Conservancy their executive director is going to be uh, doing a birding event in his backyard uh, and then the Latino Center of the Midlands is going to host a, a virtual diversity and inclusion happy hour. So those are some of the events that they're going to be doing. Um, we also have on every nonprofit, we'll have the ability to put a little window, um, a little box on their profile page that's going to talk about their specific COVID response needs or okay. what they've been doing to respond. Um, yeah. One other thing that's new this year is that we lowered the minimum giving amount to $1. It was $10. And so that was actually something that we already had in place and we're planning to do, but um, we're glad that it worked out with COVID that, you know, we're going to be able to allow more participants than ever, hopefully, to give. Yeah, because again, like you said, this, this always has been a virtual event with the giving. I mean, in past years, you could go to like different organizations and they were having parties and they were inviting you into their space and you were getting to know more about them kind of on a, on a personal level, one-on-one, -on -one. Yes. but this being um, a virtual event, but also, yeah, lowering that donation. Cause I mean, you know, everybody is being impacted. And I think the thing for Omaha gives, you've got so many people from all walks of life and all, you know, they're just so different. And, they want to give, but a dollar may be the only way they can give. Um, Absolutely. You know? And this year, we're really, you know, we, we don't know what to expect this year in terms of a dollar amount. And it's really never been yeah. about a specific dollar amount. Sure. Um, you know, in some communities we've seen um, that have had their gifts day, we see, they have seen an increase um, in participation and funding. 
we just don't know what to expect because you have so many people who are being impacted directly and indirectly by this. So um, our goal is as always, is just to get as much participation from the community as possible. Yeah. So let's, what, so I'm, I'm just looking at, you know, our notes like what we always have. What is the Why I Give campaign? Yes, thanks for asking about that. That is new this year too. That is uh, going to be a social media campaign and we're going to be using the hashtag why I give OG and going to be encouraging our nonprofits and their giving community to, to the participants, um, the donors to be able to, uh, you know, send in a picture and use a hash and use the hashtag with it. And then we're actually going to have some some prizes around that as well for those participants, but something fun, just to give people something, again, it, it's not going to cost anything, but it, it's going to allow people a way to kind of personalize their own reason, giving, which is, can be so vast and varied, but more than ever reason this year to give. Yeah, I mean, and sharing those stories, and it's just, it's just fun to, because everybody, whether they're nonprofit, I mean, a lot of times a nonprofit really is close to their heart, and, you know, mm -hmm. it's always just great to hear about why they, they give to a certain nonprofit. And it, a lot of times I think it inspires other people to look at what am I passionate about? You know, who, who right. can I get to? So, um, so what will Omaha Gives mean, mean to nonprofits this year? I mean, this is kind of big. It is big. You're right, Andy, that this year more than ever, the, the needs are so great and continue to grow in our community. Well, I mean, just as an example, if you look at the unemployment numbers in our area, you know, in one month's time, the state had twice as many unemployment, new unemployment numbers as they did in the entire year of last year. So we think we're just starting to see where this is going. We, we think that there's going to be greater impact as, yeah. as this unfolds. And so the, the needs of our nonprofits are growing and they're, you know, serving people who are being directly impacted by this and whether it's again you know food or it's assistance with housing assistance with um you know a mortgage payment a utility bill we have so many nonprofit partners who are providing those services to our, our most vulnerable part of our community um, we also have nonprofits who are indirectly being impacted by this because as you know better than anybody the, the they're, they've had to cancel their events, their fundraisers, yeah. and try to do some virtual events, but those are, um, you know, not going to be as as productive as what they've seen. So, it, all across the board, nonprofits are being impacted by this, no matter no matter what you do. So, this year more than ever, we need participation. Yes. So, okay. So, Omaha Gives is May twentieth. Yes. And. Let's just, where can people go to learn more about that? Sure, you can go to our website. Um, we also have the Omaha Gives website. And um, starting May 1st is actually when our early giving okay. starts yeah. on that. Mm -hmm. okay. So May 1st, people started to give and then they can give all the way through the 20th. And then we're gonna have another conversation after Omaha Gives because I know people can give all year long through what you guys are, you know, through your website. So um, I look forward to that conversation. But again, Omaha Gives, giving started on May 1st. Um, the big day is the 20th. Connect with Omaha Community Foundation on Facebook and then also go to the website, omahagives.org. Um, you guys are doing what, I mean, now more than ever, I mean, because the world is changing, you're doing such an amazing job to help nonprofits and connect donors with, you know, you guys just do such an amazing job. And I'm so excited that I'll be able to work with you in the years to come, Donna. We're, we're looking forward to all of this culminating, you know, starting on May 1st and then culminating to the May 20th, um, yes. our day then. And um, yeah, people can go in and we'll start, you know, counting those numbers um, starting May 1st and hopefully have a big, big day for us and a big celebration. Lots to celebrate on May 20th because we could all use something to celebrate right now. I know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Donna, thank you so much for the conversation. I really appreciate it. And again, looking forward to working with you 
um, as the president and CEO of the Omaha Community Foundation. Thank you, Andy, and, and you as well. Thank you.